Guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is February 11, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Prix News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, more National Guard and razor wire barriers are coming to the TX region. We are redoubling our efforts to expand the areas where we are denying entry in TX, into TX. Now you have this group is now going down in TX while increasing in California and Arizona. All right, so once again, uh, this is coming out from TXGov. Greg, he's sounding the alarm. He's saying that there's going to be some more National Guard. There's going to be more barriers. There's going to be more sealing up the region. Now, last night, I posted a video. Very important sheriff uh, sounding the alarm. He's saying that uh, there's a lot that have come into the Sleeping Giant. Many of them are not friendly. A lot of them came in with backpacks. And he's like, you best believe there's no grocery food in those backpacks. There's other things in there. So once again, uh, we are seeing that uh, TX is completely shutting down the region. They're uh, sealing up the uh, territory. And they are still uh, working on getting more barriers. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's see what's going on here. If you can, please share this video. Uh, give me a second. Let me just pull up the information. Here we go. All right, so once again, big breaking news. Also, if you guys... Well, we need to pray for the people out there in... Uh, Sin City, uh, Nevada. You guys already know that's where the 58 is going to be playing at. Uh, we're talking about the Super Bowl. So please pray for many out there. Uh, they're sounding the alarm. When I say they, I'm talking about multiple agency. The FB, you know what, and other are sounding the alarm. And uh, I did post a video over at Grand Supreme News, but I'm going to also post it here. I'm going to re-upload it so that way, uh, again, both channel. I have the same video because a lot of people are not aware that I have multiple channels. All right, so it says here, after hinting at a sudden security announcement regarding TX, uh, Border Security Initiative, you have the Gov said in a press conference that the state was looking to implement more TX, National Guard, and raise a wire at portion of the southern region in Eagle Pass. Now, guys, Eagle Pass is very important. Keep your eyes on this city right here. Uh, the Great American Eclipse on, on, I think, April the 8th, 2024. The first city that's going to see it is Eagle Pass. I mean, that's amazing. We're talking about the Great American Eclipse. It, it doesn't happen every year. This eclipse is uh, biblical because this will mark the X from 2017 and 2024. Very important signs of the heavens. All right, so once again, Eagle Pass, the state has effectively taken over. Something other officials had previously noted or hinted. So once again, uh, Texas Gov is sounding, well, he's uh, dropping a huge bombshell in this one. We're gonna get more soldiers. All right, give me a second here, guys. So we are looking, excuse me, we are working on expansion plans to expand the successful operation that we've seen in certain location that deter these group. Once again, TXGov said in a press conference, some of those will be announced after they occur, and some will be announced beforehand. The Gov specifically named 
more troopers and more razor wire as increased initiative but he did not give specific detail as to how those will be implemented or any solid numbers behind it or behind them excuse me so we don't know how many troops are going to be uh, out there uh, but uh, again there's been multiple states you have florida i think idaho uh, you have another state that that's been sending national guards so altogether you have 25 states that is backing tx and they are still going to court and when i say they i'm talking about tx texas and the 46 administration the 46 you guys know who he is j-o-e i'm not going to say the name because the platform is really strict so the 46 administration and tx are still going to court all right it seems like tx is going to win this one and again uh this nothing wrong here tx is putting their foot down saying hey we got we got a group just coming in and they did declare tx declare an invasion so and they are sitting up the region but the four six he's saying ah, 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 no what are you doing you can't do that what are you doing you gotta leave the doors open for the past three years 11 million came into this land under the four six in the past three years 11 million that's an army and a sheriff uh, the video I posted yesterday, uh, Sheriff Jones, he said, man, look, a lot of them, mm -mm, no. You wouldn't believe uh, what I saw. These numbers and, you know, many coming in with backpacks. So I believe the Sheriff, and by the way, that Sheriff, is, you know, he was like the 4 6 didn't want to pick up the phone or text me or email me. Uh, he don't want to show up. He doesn't want to uh, talk about it. So it, it goes to tell you. That here in the Sleeping Giant, we are on our own. We don't have a Sleeping Giant leader. We don't have a Sleeping Giant leader. The world has a leader. Because, again, uh, the 4-6 uh, sending money to them. So, again, the world has a leader. But the Sleeping Giant, we don't have one. If we did, uh, Ohio would be all fixed up and Hawaii would be uh, recovering by now. But they are still waiting for, and they still haven't gotten none. All right, so once again, guys, give me a second here. It says in this part, those remarks come just a day after you have the right have voted down legislation that would have drastically expanded the executive branch's oversight of the southern region, the barrier. Notably, uh, the ability to shut down the southern if it grows overwhelmed. Something that the 46 said he would do the day he signed that into law if it was passed. Now you guys know that uh, this this a, a bill. They still trying to work on this bill. Now in that bill, uh, this 120 10 billion dollars out of those 110 billion dollars 60 billion would go to you guys know that country the yellow and blue uh that is you know fighting the bear russia well 60 billion would go to them 20 billion would go to the southern that's here within our land and some of it is going to go to other lands too but we have a problem here. The right is not passing that. They're saying, no, we don't want this. Even though billion dollars sounds a lot, it's pretty good. But the speaker said, you don't need to put the sudden stuff in this bill. You could fix the sudden region without this bill. You could fix it right now. You could pick up the phone and say, close the doors and that's it. Why are you adding the southern region to this bill when you don't need to do that? You have the money. We don't need to sign you checks for the southern region. You have the money. You just want, again, you're just holding the southern as hostage. So, again, this is the reason why nobody's signing, uh, signing that bill. 
Uh, so once again, you have uh, the right, including from TX, have argued that the, I'm just going to say FG, already has the authority to do that with executive action. So they're basically saying, hey, you don't need a bill. You don't need the bill. You could just fix it right now. You just want money so you could give it to the yellow and blue country. So basically, the four six is saying, if you don't give me the money for the yellow and blue country, then I'm not going to fix the Southern and TX. That's it. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what you call tyrannic. <coughs> Excuse me. Has something stuck in my throat. Okay. So um, it says, give me a second here, guys. So that mirrors comments from former the 4-5 earlier this week on Truth Social. His uh, platform writing all a leader has to do is say close it close it and the sudden will be closed a costly new bill is not necessary it's not necessary but he keeps saying give me the bill and I will close it He's basically telling the sleeping giant, if I can't help the yellow and blue, then I'm not going to help the sleeping giant. Again, for those of you that don't know, the sleeping giant is uh, our beloved sleeping giant land. So the four six is saying, if you guys can't give me the money for the yellow and blue country, then I'm not going to fix that region. <sighs> oh, there you go. Four six for everyone. No e action, no matter how aggressive, can deliver the significant policy reforms and additional resources the Kongs, Gris, can provide. The right have rejected. Now, once again, you have uh, this person here, uh, the press secretary, said in a briefing on Thursday. Man, her job is to. <laughs> I was thinking about her too. Uh, the the secretary. Her job is to, I'm just going to spell it out. Her job is to L-I-E 24-7. My goodness, this woman is committing uh, the biggest sin. I mean, not the biggest, but you guys know the devil is the liar of all sin. Uh, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the devil is the father of lies. <laughs> so, uh, again, those in the spotlights, those that you see on television, we talking about the N-E-W-S. You guys already know a lot of stuff they say. Baloney. All right. That legislation was a result of months of negotiation by, with bipartisan lawmakers and the 4-6. One of its key supporter was an endorsement from the Southern Patrol Union. Okay, so that's where we at. That is where we at. Ladies and gentlemen, the gov is uh, he's saying, well, I'm going to bring in more and more and more troops. And the barriers will be um, put up. So that's where we at right now. Meanwhile, the 4-6 is yapping his mouth. If we can give the yellow and blue country the billions of dollars we gonna have to send sleeping giant soldiers that's what he said also mr chuck i'm not gonna say his last name you guys know s h u m shum you know chuck shum uh, i'm not gonna say his full name he said last week if we can't get the money for the yellow and blue we gonna send sleeping giant soldiers to fight the bear all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, you think the 4-6 is for the Sleeping Giant? If he was for the Sleeping Giant, he'd be having a conversation with the sheriff that's sounding the alarm about the southern region. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, 
You can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.